So your third forum, uh, just getting the ball rolling here. Uh, the, the, the forum topic uh, isolates a specific passage from book one of Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Um, given the videos that I've given you, I think it, I think you've got enough basis to actually understand what's going on in this passage. Um, it, what Aristotle is getting at here is there actually are things that he calls virtues that actually do contribute to people's flourishing. Right? These things are not just instrumentally good, but they are intrinsically good. Um, so the passage that I'm isolating here is um, paragraph 11 from uh, your page 11. Sometimes it works out like that. Um, and it reads, now, the things that please most people conflict because they are not pleasant by nature, whereas the things that please lovers of the fine are things pleasant by nature. Actions in accord with virtue are pleasant by nature so that they please both lovers of the fine and are pleasant in their own right. Now, remember that story that I gave you in the video about the dog that I met on my paper route? Um, it, it, that dog had a conflict between what it wanted and what it wanted. It wanted somebody to pet it, but it wanted to be away from the humans that it was afraid of, right? So there is a fundamental and basic conflict between on the one hand what it wants and what it wants. So effectively the conflict and the things that it wants prevented it from actually achieving a state of self-satisfaction there, right? Now what Aristotle's getting at here is that if human beings are able to use reason then they will be able to sort out their desires using this emphatic concept of virtue, right, and the various virtues that are human, right, in order that the things that you desire do not conflict, right? So um, basically, it you know, if if you are virtuous, the things that you desire will not be in a state of conflict with one another, right? Now, um, the question I ask you asks in what respect we are distinct from that dog that I met on my paper route. Now, interestingly for Aristotle, we're not that distinct, right? We have desires, those desires come into a state of conflict with one another, but Interestingly, this harkens back to the function argument of all things that have a function, the, the, the good for that thing can be understood in terms of that function, and to perform that function well will be its virtue. Right? What the dog doesn't have is the ability to self-train, whereas human beings, the rational beings whose function it is to exercise reason, right? can actually use the faculty of reason to train themselves to desire things that are actually bloody well good for them, right? It's, it, in a lot of ways, not a complicated argument that Aristotle is making here, but nonetheless, um, what I want to hear is if you think this is right or decent or cogent, right? So, it, like, are we really that distinct from this dog? That as the conflict between what it wants and what it wants, right? So um, I look forward to reading your responses and um, have good days, one for each of you. Cheers.